Coffee Break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Let me get situated. So today I am here with a really important review on the eyeshadows that I'm wearing today. And not too long ago, Marlena from Makeup Geek, which is also a YouTuber here, I'm I'm all trying to introduce you to someone. You, I'm pretty sure you know who she is. Marlena has the makeup line Makeup Geek, and while I don't have too much experience with her products, or rather, I don't have any experience with her products. Um, I'm not an affiliate of Makeup Geek. I don't have any other Makeup Geek products that I can compare to, but all I've seen is stellar reviews from her products. Her products are made in the USA. They're not tested on animals. They're incredibly pigmented and affordable, and I'm just relaying the reviews that I've seen. I can't speak from experience. The only thing that I can speak from is my experience with the foiled shadows. And like I said, they were released not too long ago. They're $9.99 each and they're supposed to be foiled eyeshadows. Foiled eyeshadows are basically metallic eyeshadows similar to pressed pigments and they're supposed to give you the foiled effect. And the foiled effect is easy to achieve when you use a, a moistening agent, like a wet agent, on a shadow. These shadows are actually really awesome because they um, are very, very metallic, but I don't know if it's just me and I'm a little bit more daring, but I feel like they're a wearable metallic. Sometimes there are um, shadows that are so metallic that I couldn't see myself wearing them very often unless it was like New Year's. Like there are some colors from these uh, Stila ones, you know the ones that come in the little pot with the mixing agent? Those are very metallic. It looks almost like you're wearing gold leaf. And these aren't like that. These are just really soft and buttery, beautiful metallic shadows. They're kind of reminiscent of the new eyeshadows from Makeup Forever. You guys know how Makeup Forever has those new eyeshadows and they have the mattes, the metallics, the glitters. They're very similar to the metallic ones, except those are what, $22 a pan, and these are $9.99 a pan. So a little bit more affordable, but I'm pretty sure these have a little bit less product because the Makeup Forever pans are pretty big. But still, I mean, it's not half as much product. So they are very affordable. They're beautiful shadows. I'm wearing four of the eyeshadows right now. The color that you see on the outer sides of my lid is this one right here, and this is called Mesmerize. And Mesmerize, it's like a purpley taupe and then I'm wearing this gold one here on the outer on the inner corner of my eyelid this one's called magic act then I'm wearing this on the center of my lid that little light that you see shining through that's called in the spotlight and then I'm wearing this green one called jester on the lower lash line this one's kind of cool because it looks olive green in the pan but once you apply it it has a really gold sheen to it so overall these are really great shadows um, they say they claim that they don't require a um, primer that they are long-lasting but I think with any product that is this pigmented and creamy at the end of any day, you're going to have some creasing, especially if you really build the color. If you're really layering on that color and you're really trying to build up the pigmentation or layer it on, it's going to crease. Um, so my recommendation is just like I recommend with foundations, always wear a primer. It's a crime not to prime. <laughs> so always wear a primer um, on your eyelids. I'm wearing Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, just a neutral base. So I'm going to bring you guys in closer and show you some up-close swatches. So let's start off with this beautiful purple shade right here, and this is called Caitlin Rose. Um, this is a really beautiful, just classic purple shade, and you can see just one swipe over the pan how buttery and soft it is. Just a really beautiful, classic purple shade. Um, I kind of wanted to do a look using it because it's so pretty. This one here is called Center Stage, and you can tell it's a beautiful blue. With these shadows, though, can you see that giant nick? These are those shadows that if you accidentally nick it, boom, your nail's gonna go like right into the middle, like right, right down to the bottom of the pan. Look how beautiful that blue color is. I, I wanted to do a look with this blue and purple, but I was like, ugh, Danny relax. Do something a little more wearable first. <laughs> then we have this color Houdini, and Houdini is just like a, almost like a dark peacock color, like a dark teal, um, and I really like it. I thought this was, I thought, I 
really thought this one was going to be my favorite. Can you see how beautiful that is? Um, but it's actually not. It's not my favorite. It swatches a lot darker than it looks in the pan. Then this one is Jester. Jester is the green with like that um, gold base to it. It's the one I'm wearing on my lower lash line. And I was actually quite surprised with this one. When this one arrived, I thought it was going to be one of the ones that I liked least. But it's actually one of the ones that I've been liking the most out of all of them. That's right there. One of the ones that I think everyone is going to fall head over heels over is Flamethrower. And that's this really beautiful, like, amber, reddish shadow. Um, look how soft this is. Isn't that beautiful? It's showing a little um, orange on camera, but it's just... Oh my god, you guys, look at that. One swatch. Um, this next one is Showtime. And Showtime is hard to describe. It's like a, like a really dark cranberry color. But I feel like it has a little bit of silver fleck in it. It doesn't quite catch it. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It's like a really dark cranberry, almost like a brownish cranberry. Do you see that little silver fleck that it has to it? Then I'm going to show you the one that is the majority of my eye look today. <laughs> the majority of my eye look today is with Mesmerized. And Mesmerized is a hard color to describe. It's like a almost like a grayish purple. It's, oh, well, let me show you. Those really soft eyeshadows that give you that like crustiness on your finger. Then we have Grandstand and Grandstand is really a really beautiful color. It's, this is I think like a classic amber shade. Look at that. Can you see that? It's like an antique gold, like an antique rose gold. Um, let me swatch that for you right here. You see that? Isn't that stunning? Look at how it captures the light. It's absolutely beautiful. Out of all of them, that one's, a, that one's one of the most wearable, most everyday, most absolutely take your breath away shadows. Then we have In the Spotlight. And that is this shade right here. In the pan, it just looks like peach. It's just like a beautiful peach shade. But it's more of like a champagne colored eyeshadow when you swatch it on your finger. Do you see that? It's just a really beautiful champagne shade. And I'm going to swatch that right next to the one I just showed you guys. Do you see how it captures the light? That reflect? Oh my god, this is like melted metal in pans. The last shade in the collection is called Magic Act, and this is just a really soft gold. Can you guys see the makeup scab that I was talking about? <laughs> there is that shade right there. Can you guys see it? Isn't that beautiful how, like, look at how the light reflects all of these shades. So those were these swatches up close, and you can tell, I mean, look at how these shadows just grab the light. Isn't that crazy? And like all reviews that you guys watch, you always want to be cognizant that when you do a finger swatch, it's going to be a lot thicker, a lot heavier than it's actually going to show up on the skin. The skin of our eyes or using brush upon application, it's like doing a blush swatch. The way you swatch it on your hand is not, is not necessarily true as how it's going to show up on the skin. These swatches literally take your breath away. When you apply them, they're beautiful metallic shadows. And for the price point, $9.99 each, it's a really good quality product for great results that it gives you. And it's very affordable. So if you were looking to incorporate maybe some more metallic or foiled eyeshadows into your collection, this might be the route to go. So I do have to say that Marlena hit it out of the park with these shadows. Um, there's 10 in the collection. I will list them in the description box below. Um, and I will just put the general link on where you can find them. But they're just beautiful eyeshadows. Keep in mind though that Marlena's products don't come in compacts. They come in pans. So you have to be ready to house them in something. Have an empty palette ready to go, a Z palette, maybe an Uni palette where you can um, insert your shadows and um, they'll be safe. You know, they won't, they won't get damaged. Be very aware of the softness of these shadows as well. Any little nick or anything that happens to them, they will get like smushed. They're so soft. It's almost like a it's almost like a cream and powder hybrid. It's not a cream product, but it gives you the results of like a cream product. So it's really interesting. The last part that I wanted to add to this review is 
Are these similar to any other product that I have or that I use? Um, like I said, they're very similar to the metallic shadows from Makeup Forever, but I did notice that the results that I get from these shadows are very similar to the results that you can get from the ColourPop Color Shock shadows without the mess. Now, these shadows are so soft and creamy and pigmented that they do have a little bit of fallout. The good thing about the ColourPop Color Shock shadows, besides that they're $5 each, is that they're cream. They're like a, they're almost like a puffy, cream, spongy, marshmallow eyeshadow, which I have a review on and I'll link it down below. And you don't have fallout. It sticks to your finger and there's no fallout because it is a wet product, even though it doesn't function like a wet product. It totally applies like a powder product on the lid. So I do tend to I do tend to prefer these just a little bit more. And the price point is, I mean it's less. It's half. So I do I, I'm a sucker for my ColourPop shadows, but that doesn't take away from how awesome these shadows are. So if you're interested in getting them, they are totally coffee break approved. I really like them. I mean Let's talk about this for a second. They're awesome. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.